Ever wondered if your CNC cabinet is properly grounded, but don't have an expensive ground bond tester? Today, I'll show you how to check resistance safely only using a power supply and a multimeter. Yo, what's going on y'all? It's Tom here from Steel Knight CNC, and we're building cool stuff, diving deep into electronics building and CNC engineering. If you're building or upgrading your CNC machine, grounding is very crucial for safety and signal reliability. Let's make sure yours is good to go without breaking the bank. So tools needed is a PSU or also known as a switchable power supply unit, a digital multimeter where you can measure current resistance and volts. Oh, hey, uh, you also need two alligator clips or four, two for the PSU and two for the multimeter. That way you're not going to uh, create any sparks on the inside. Subject to test is the CNC cabinet and the ground control points. Ground star, raised ground bar, not connected here, but these two thick cables are connected to here. And we can also test anything on here that has green or yellow green wire. Hey, what y'all doing up there? So I'm gonna explain to you right quickly why we're doing this test to make sure we have a impedance of 0.1 ohms or less. Ground bonding ensures all metal components are all the same electrical potential. We want resistance, any exposed metal surfaces and ground to be very low, ideally between or below 0.1 ohm. Ground bond testers are expensive, but we can simulate this test by applying small current and using Ohm's law to measure the effective resistance. Let's dive in. So here is the step-by-step -step test. We're gonna test this at 31 uh, volts at max amps. With the PSU off, we're gonna take the negative terminal and ground it to the main cabinet. We will take the power supply of the unit and clamp it to the GX16 connector on the outside. We'll take the negative of the multimeter clip and click it right next to the minus of the power supply unit. We will take the positive of the multimeter and connect it to here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this on to six volts, 600 milliamps or 600 millivolts or 60 volts, it doesn't matter. So we're reading 0.7 volts. 0 0.019 millivolts. Power supply reading 0.7 volts at 10 amps. Multimeter reading 0 0.019 volts, 19 millivolts. Calculation one, true grounding resistance of the measured segment V equals 0 0.019 volts, I equals 10 amps. Applies Ohm's law. R equals V divided by R I. R equals 0 0.019 divided by 10. R equals 0 0.0019 ohms. Calculation two, full loop resistance seen by the PSU using PSU reading, V equals 0.7 volts. I equals 10 amps, applies Ohm's law again. R equals 0 0.7 divided by 10. R equals 0 0.07 ohms. Full loop resistance is 0 0.07 ohms. That includes your wires, crocodile clips, PSU leads, test cables, internal PSU resistance, contact resistance at the clips. This is not the true chassis bond, bonding resistance. It's everything in series. So what does this mean? The actual machine cabinet grounding system is 0 0.0019 ohms. That is 52 times better than CE safety limits of 0.1 ohm max. Industrial level performance better than many factory machines. Using this simple method, you can ensure your CNC cabinet is safely grounded without the need for a $500 tester. Let me know in the comments if you want a video on adding proper grounding straps or testing motor insulation next.